Do you know what bullying is? Actually, I do. Bullying is when someone is mean to another person on purpose, and they do it over and over and over again. There are three very important parts in that sentence that really define bullying. And that's when somebody is being mean to you or someone else, being mean on purpose, and then doing it again and again. So what does bullying actually look like? Actually, bullying includes several different things, and we'll go over that right now. Versions of bullying are teasing that just doesn't stop after the person tells them to stop, talking about hurting someone else, spreading rumors or lies about another person, leaving kids out on purpose or calling them mean names, taking things from someone without their permission, as well as attacking someone by hitting them or yelling at them. As we mentioned before, someone who bullies another person does it on purpose. And when we say that bullying is done on purpose, it means that the person that is being a bully is actually choosing to hurt or harm or be mean to somebody else. Bullying is not an accident or a one-time mistake. That's right. And the person doing it knows how bad they are hurting the other person, but they keep doing it anyway. That's right. The third thing that makes bullying bullying is that they do it over and over again. When bullying happens over and over again, it means it's not just one time. It happens many times. And when it happens again and again and again, it makes the person who is getting bullied feel really sad, scared, or sometimes even hurt. And they might not feel safe or happy. So how does bullying affect someone? Well, sometimes the person bullying keeps doing it over and over because they think they're stronger or more powerful than the other person. And they want that other person to feel small or scared. And that is just not cool at all. And bullying can happen in different ways too. Verbal bullying means the bully is saying or writing mean things. When someone uses unkind words, like calling names, making fun, or saying things that can make others feel bad. Physical bullying is when someone uses their hands or feet to hurt someone, or break or destroy their things. Social bullying is hurting someone else's feelings or friendships. Some people try to make others feel bad by saying bad things about them or leaving them out on purpose. And they might even say things to make other people not like that person. Cyberbullying is when someone is being mean to someone on the internet and social media apps like Snapchat or Instagram. And sometimes bullies can be unkind when using phones or computers. They might send messages that are not nice or share things that make others feel embarrassed or upset. Kids and people who are bullied can feel like they are different, powerless, unpopular, and even alone. Kids who are bullied usually have a hard time standing up for themselves, and they think the kid who bullies them is more powerful than they are. Bullying can make them feel very sad, lonely, or nervous. People and kids can also feel sick or start having problems at school or even at home. Bullying is never okay. When you see or know someone that is getting bullied, it's very important to talk to a grown-up you trust, like a teacher or parent, because they can help. And one of the best ways to prevent being bullied or helping someone who is being bullied is by being a good friend and helping others feel happy. And this is a great way to stop bullying and make everyone feel better, because remember, everyone deserves to feel safe and happy, and bullying is not okay. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about what bullying is and hopefully how to prevent it and stop it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. Sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.